Hi everyone, this is Anam. Welcome to PhD Jobs and Admission. So from today's lecture, we are going to see research methodology MCQs for your upcoming Anna University for your PhD entrance examination. So as, as you all know, Anna University PhD admission application uh, PhD applications are going on. So please do fill the application form before the deadline and uh, they did not release the entrance examination date yet. So please fill the application form as soon as possible before the deadline. So in today's lecture, we are going to see research methodology MCQs in detail. You will get explanation in detail so that your concept will be clear. So before starting the lecture, I want to tell you something very important. So we are providing you research methodology complete study material with 100% passing guarantee. So please contact us on this given number or you can also visit our app which is global online app link is provided in the description box. So in research methodology study material, you will get theory lectures, video, uh, video lectures and MCQs video lectures plus some previous year questions of all central government universities, state universities and some model question papers of Anna University. Then you will get mock tests. Each mock test contains 40 to 50 MCQs like that. Uh, here we will cover 400 to 500 MCQs. Then notes. Notes are very in simple language. If you will read once the note, then you will get all the concept here. Then PDF which contain more than 1500 plus MCQs and uh, this PDF content previous year questions of all central government and state universities, some model question paper of Anna University like that will gonna cover all your syllabus for research methodology. So research methodology, remember research methodology study material is common for all candidates. No matter what you are doing research in um, techni uh, technology, some, some are doing in mechanical engineering, Okay, so research methodology means paper one is common for all candidates. So remember this contain we are providing you this study material with 100% passing guarantee and 100% guaranteed selection. So please contact us on this number and you can also visit our app which is global online app link is provided in the description box. So also for paper two we will provide you notes and most expected MCQs and we will cover all your syllabus in paper 2. So we will get paper 2 study material. For paper 2 also contact us on this number or you can also visit our app which is global online app link is provided in the description box. So without wasting our time we will see first question. So first question here is interviewing all members of a given population is called so what they are asking you have to read question twice okay interviewing all members what you are doing you are doing interviewing all the members from the population that means it is known as census okay if you are doing your research and you are doing your study on your whole population that means it is known as census okay census means what you are doing your research on the whole population okay and remember in india after every 10 years government perform a census through census uh, we can know that how many people uh, people are educated okay in this country okay in india how many people are educated how many people are working how many people are not working okay so through a census people uh, our researcher can you know study that uh, population on that population on that particular uh, country on that particular city okay so remember whenever researcher uh, do their study researcher perform their research on whole population that means it is known as census okay whereas option a here is sample what does mean what does sample mean okay sample means what if you are selecting a four to five people from your population okay then it is known as sample if you are doing for if you are selecting four to five people from your population and you are uh, interviewing them means interviewing uh, all members in a population then it is known as sample okay from what you are what i am saying here is if you are selecting uh, some people uh, from your population and you are asking some question to them means you are interviewing your sam uh, from these people then it is known as sample 
okay if you are uh, in doing interviewing all members in your population then it is known as census not sample okay so for this question option b here is the right answer census next question which one of the following is a qualitative random variable okay what they are asking in question which among the following means from all these option which one option or which one statement is belongs to qualitative variable okay so remember examiner uh, will ask you a question on either qualitative variable and either quantitative variable okay qualitative variable means what which deals with words and text remember qualitative variable deals with words and text and quantitative variable deals with numbers okay remember quantitative variable deals with number and qualitative variable deals with words and text qualitative name itself defines the meaning which shows quality okay and quantitative means quantity which uh, give us the idea about quantity okay that means numbers basically okay so one by one we'll see which uh, option indicates the variable called qualitative variable so one by one uh, we'll see the options so here option a is height of a cable car station that means cable car station's height may be 1 cm 2 cm 3 cm so here what you are getting you are getting answer in the form of numbers okay 1 2 or 3 that means this is quantitative variable not not a qualitative variable so yeah option a is the wrong answer then option b distance in meters that you have already walked today okay how many distance and how many distance you have already walked today like someone walked today like uh, two meters okay again two meters four meters like that okay again you are getting your answer in the form of numbers then here option b is also a qualitative quantitative variable not a qualitative variable then your option c nicotine contain of a cigarette okay how many percent of nicotine present in a cigarette okay so on the box of cigarette you might have seen that uh, they wrote there five percent nicotine is present on that cigarette okay 10% nicotine is present in that cigarette that means again you are getting here answer in the form of numbers so here option c is also and quality uh, option c here is also a quantitative variable not a qualitative variable so here option c is also incorrect then option d highest education qualification of a respondent so yes um uh, suppose you are doing your research and you are asking your respondent that what is your highest education qualification okay so here you will get your answer in the form of words and text like someone say i did bachelor's okay i did bachelor's someone say i did master's someone say i did phd okay so here what you are getting you are getting your answer in the form of words okay that means it is related to qualitative variable because it is describing their quality okay their quality of education that's why here the correct option is option D, highest educational qualification of a respondent. Next, through data triangulation method, a researcher can enhance his or her studies. So, in this question, they are asking us through data triangulation method, researcher, how researcher can enhance his or her study. Okay, so first of all, you have to know what is data triangulation method what is the meaning of data triangulation method so remember this figure very important figure data triangulation method means what suppose uh, in maths in maths uh, when whenever you solve a particular problem there are too many methods to solve that equation okay so suppose there is one problem in maths okay and i am solving from method one that problem i am solving with method one okay so i am solving with method one and then i am getting my result x y and z okay and uh, again i am solving this problem with method two okay and again i am getting same result that x y z okay that means what this method is showing us data triangulation method here is showing us a validity okay how valid our results are 
That's why here the correct option is option B, validity. Through data triangulation method, researcher can enhance is her or her study, uh, his or her study is valid or not. Okay, so here option B is the right answer. Whereas we'll see the incorrect options uh, as well. So here option A is popularity. No, through data triangulation method, researcher cannot uh, say that, we cannot say that through data triangulation method, that that data or that results are popular that uh, research are very popular no so here option a is incorrect then option c is accessibility how many people can access how many people can access that data again this is not the correct option then option d is readability means um how many people can easily read that research or re easily read that uh, you know uh, that paper or that research okay so it is not a readability means data triangulation method does not show us the readability how people can read it but data triangulation method shows us the validity of that study not readability okay how how that data is valid the results are valid okay so here correct option is option b validity next so questionnaire is a so here they are asking the meaning of questionnaire. What is questionnaire? Okay. So remember questionnaire means a set of set of questions. Okay. Whenever a researcher perform research, then researchers provide a list of questions to their samples and they collect data from that sample and from that set of questions. Okay. It means if researcher performs some study, means from population researcher select some people that is known as samples and researcher will provide a questionnaire means set of questions to their respondents and uh, to samples. Okay. And from that sample samples uh, in that samples, whatever people are there, they fill that questions. Okay. And through this question, researcher can collect the data. So questionnaire is a tool for data collection questionnaire it is type of tool which helps in research to collect the data okay that's why here the correct answer is option c tool for data collection we'll see the remaining option option a here is research method no research method uh, questionnaire is, is not a research method because it is a collection tool data collection tool not a research method because you are not doing method you are not analyzing something okay that's why here option a here is the right uh, incorrect option okay then here option b is measurement technique no uh, question is not a measurement technique measurement means you are measuring something okay you are doing calculation and all no so here option b is also incorrect then option d data analyzing technique no you are not analyzing you are just collecting data you are not doing your analyzing so here option d is also incorrect so your correct option is option c questionnaire is a tool for data collection next the selection of a research problem will depend on okay so how researchers should select their research problem we have to find out okay so one by one we'll see options so here option a is interest and expertise yes because see your research uh, research duration is not for uh, you know two months or three months because research is research process is minimum three years okay around three years and maximum six years it's too long okay so for that you have some interest you should know some uh, interest about that field if you are selecting your research problem okay and expertise means whatever research problem is there you should know some uh, you know you so you, you should know some uh, reason and you should know some knowledge about that field okay so interest and expertise means experience experts how expert you are in that field or how expert you are on your research problem okay so yes here interest and expertise depend your selection of research problem and then option b data availability and relevance yes whatever research problem you are choosing so on that problem references should be there means previous knowledge what previously researcher did research on that research topic okay so previous means relevance references should be there uh, uh, something data should be there on your research problem previously okay so here option b is also correct then option c ethics yes your research problem 
should depends on ethics means your research problem should be ethical okay not anything okay ethical means what the problem is like that you can do your research okay someone can read your research okay the ethic the correct point and the correct research problem okay so here option c is also correct so here all these three options are correct that's why your correct option is option b all the above next so while conducting experimental research one should control d so here in this question they are asking us while performing experimental research which variable should we control okay so remember when we perform experimental research why researcher to perform experimental research you have to know the reason behind it because experimental research uh, provide us the relation between the independent and the dependent variable how independent variable affects the dependent variable like uh, say some example if i am smoking okay if person smoking uh, in very high quantity okay then what happen their lungs also damage okay so here independent variable is deciding how to uh, you know how, how to behave on other variables okay so if you are doing uh, smoking daily then what happens to your lungs your lungs starts damaging okay so here basically in experimental research the researcher perform this research to see how independent and dependent variable are related with each other how independent variable is affecting and ca causing on the dependent variable okay so in this case what happen is some extraneous variable comes like some other means uh, suppose there is one person okay and this person has also a different disease like diabetes okay diabetes so here what happen is if he or she is smoking daily then what happen is here diabetes also plays a role some um, on that disease there is some affect affection okay so what happen here is in experimental research researcher should always control extraneous variable because in this study what is researcher here studying is researcher wants to see smoking effect on the lungs not on the diabetes okay so here remember in experimental research researcher should and must always control the extraneous variable so here correct option is option b extraneous variable means extra variables which are affecting our study okay so here option b is the right answer next scores of a sample are distributed as 4 6 8 3 7 8 3 9 the mean is so in this question so they have given us scores of a samples okay and uh, they have given us some score of that samples okay and we have to find what will be the mean mean means the average average score of a whole population okay so how will you calculate mean so remember mean formula is mean is equals to submission of xi upon n where your submission means addition okay you have to add all these terms and divide by n means number of terms okay so submission xi means you have to add all this 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 3 plus 7 plus 8 plus 3 Plus nine plus six divided by n means total terms. Count how many total terms are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So here nine will come. Okay. Add all this term and you will get fifty-four divided by nine. Okay. So nine ones are and nine six are fifty-four. So what will we what will we get? Six as a mean. Okay. So here mean value is six. Okay. Means average score of a sample is 6 that's why your correct option is option a 6 next research in which researcher makes changes in an independent variable and studies their effects on dependent variable under control condition is called so this is the definition of one of the following types of research and we have to select the one or correct option that which uh, resource definition is this okay so this is the definition 
okay so very important question very important question so many times examiners ask question same question in many governments universities okay so what they are asking in question you have to read again and again question okay so here what is researcher uh, what researcher is doing here researcher making again and again changes in an independent variable to see their effects on dependent variable so in which research researcher uh, do in uh, the changes and which a researcher wants to make changes in an independent variable to see it in its effect on dependent variable in only in experimental research okay so that means this is the definition of experimental research okay so in experimental research let's say example here if i am doing exercise daily okay so what happens to my weight okay so if i am doing daily exercise okay uh, large amount of exercise daily for long time then what will happen to my weight my weight automatically dec starts decreasing okay so here what is happening if let's say on monday i am doing exercise only for 1 hour on tuesday i am doing exercise for 2 hours on wednesday i am doing exercise for 4 hours like this so what i am doing i am increasing my exercising time so here what i am doing i am changing my independent variable because here exercise is independent variable and my weight is dependent variable because i am saying its effect on dependent variable the amount of exercise that i am doing daily is matters here okay that how many hours i am doing exercise daily it's matter so uh, according to my exercising hours it's uh, depend how much weight i am losing again and again day by day okay so here this is the definition of experimental or this is the example of experimental research okay so one term here is under under control condition okay means what while doing exercise so many extraneous variables so many extra terms are come in my study so what happen is our researcher always uh, control the extraneous variable which affects my study that is known as control condition okay so here this is the definition of experimental research then we will see uh, the others option which are incorrect non experimental research means what in that uh, you you do not do uh, proper experiments okay ethnographical research means ethnographic you means you are doing research like in uh, uh, proper uh, behavior proper means proper in that area okay ethnographical research it is qualitative type of research you are doing your research and you are collecting data on the basis of qualitative okay analytical research analytical research is a, uh, is a, uh, it is related with chemistry term okay it is the term related to chemistry analytical where you have all your data and you you do uh, experiments okay it is known as analytical research but here in this question they are asking uh, the relation and the variable researcher changing is independent to see its effect on dependent so this is the definition of experimental research so here correct answer is option e experimental research next question what do you understand by hypothesis so in this question we have to find basically the definition of hypothesis okay again important question you will examiner will ask you question on hypothesis so in your exam you will get compulsory two to three question on hypothesis topic okay so what do you understand the meaning and what do you mean by hypothesis okay hypothesis means making assumption making guesses okay between between two variables okay how let's say example say example if i will um do study daily around 3 hours okay if i am doing daily study around 3 hours then i'll suppose and i'll assume that i'll definitely pass that particular xyz exam okay and i will pass phd entrance exam if i will do daily 3 to 4 hours study then i will definitely pass my phd entrance exam okay so here what i am doing here i am supposing okay i am guessing the hours of my study if i'll do 4 hours daily study if i'll do 
five to six hours daily study, then what will happen to my uh, examination? How can I pass that exam? Okay, so yeah, so here what I am doing here is I am supposing, I am guessing. Okay, if I do um, that 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 uh, hours study. Okay, if I do four to five hours study, then I will definitely pass that particular X Y Z PhD entrance examination. So here what I am doing. I am here guessing, I am here assuming the relation between two variables. So first variable here is study and second variable here is PhD entrance examination. Okay, so uh, in a study and PhD entrance examination between these two variables, I am guessing, I am assuming, okay, between the uh, relation between these two variables. So, what is hypothesis? Hypothesis is nothing but tentative statement, means temporary statement, uh, guessing assumptions for short period of time. Okay. And what I am doing here, I am assuming the relation between these two variables, which is study and other is PhD entrance examination. Study hours and my PhD entrance examination. How my study uh, hours, um, you know, relates with PhD entrance examination. Okay. So, here, Hypothesis means assumption about relations between the variables. So here option C is the right answer or you can say option C here is the uh, correct definition of hypothesis. We will see incorrect option as well. Option A here is drawing some conclusion. No, you are not uh, concluding something. Here you are just assuming, you are just guessing here. So here option A is incorrect. Option B getting proof for some activity. No, you are not getting here proof you are not proving any theory here okay so here you are just guessing so here option b is incorrect then option d assumption regarding one activity no assumption regarding what you cannot say only for one activity there are so many activities okay in day to day life you can make assumption on uh, any activities and so many activities okay so here option d here is also incorrect for this question, option C here is the right answer, assumption about relation between variables. Next, sample is a subset of. So, in this question, they are asking, what is sample? Okay, how sample is a subset of population? Okay, remember, sample is a subset of population. So, how sample is a subset of population? From this figure, we will see how sample is a subset of population okay so as you know researcher cannot um, do their research or study on whole population researcher selected some person researcher generally select some person from the population and they study only on sample not on the whole population except census in census researcher study on whole population otherwise except census researcher cannot do or uh, the studies on whole population because it is time requiring post process okay and it is time taking process so sample is a subset subset means what part okay because sample is a part of population because you are selecting person from this population which which later on there become your samples okay so remember sample is a part or you can say subset of your population not data data means what information no sample is not a subset of or not a part of data not a part of some group remember okay sample is a uh, not uh, sample is not a subset of a group or a data and a distribution and sample is a subset of population what is the meaning of distribution distribution means whatever information you are getting from samples you distributed in your in the form of graph to see for, uh, to do further studies and all okay so here sample is a part of population not part of not a part of data group and distribution so here correct answer for this question is option c population and and thank you for watching this video good luck with your preparations